Good morning. This is gonna be a video on how to side vent this LG tower. This is a new machine. Uh, you can see the model number here. This is the gas model. So this would be the WKGX201HBA. It's in black steel. So this unit right here is still sitting in my front yard because they only delivered it to the front yard and uh, it's heavy so I'm gonna have to rent a dolly and ask a few people to help me move it in but while I do that my laundry room is getting remodeled and let me show you here here's where the venting for the back goes and that vent pipe that it comes with is this one right here which is about 20 inches and this one goes right in here and it connects without any screws to the back and then it gets attached right there but I need a venting to the right and the venting when you say to the right is when you're looking at the unit from the front I want to vent to the right but that's not possible because there's a gas line that's blocking it so this unit can only vent to the back to the bottom to the left and you have to buy a kit but uh, and as you can see there is the bottom uh, pop out that you can take off if you want to vent to the bottom but I'm not exactly sure how it vents to the bottom considering that the washer is below so uh, I don't think it vents to the bottom I think it only vents back or to the left and so I'm going to the left and as you can see there are some wires here and let me see any of you vent to the right I mean to the right there is that gas line to vent to the so anyways but you need a kit uh, but instead of buying a kit I'm gonna attempt to use this pipe and essentially create my own kit by cutting the pipe so I am going to go measure and then I bought these elbows for like five dollars at Home Depot and so what I'm gonna do is I am going to cut the pipe put an elbow and then have it come to the left <clears throat> so this piece I just figure out it needs to be about 12 inches to where the elbow begins to bend and that will line it up perfectly uh, going to the left side so I'm gonna go ahead and tape it um, again, I bought the two elbows here. There's one here and here. This elbow I kept straight and this elbow is going to turn 90 degrees and that gave me the perfect um, turn to go to the left. So this is going to get connected right in there. And I'm using the original pipe that came in so that connection here is perfect because it's the original one and then this is going to be that's outside and I ended up measuring it wrong so it shouldn't be 15 inches so I'll connect it at the end and I'm going to have to cut maybe three to four inches so this one should be about 12 inches so that this much sticks out on the outside to the left so let's look see how it looks inside let's look through the side now that's how it ends up connecting took me a little bit of time to get it to turn at the right angle but that looks like it's gonna work so now 
I have to adjust the pipe that comes to the left. All right. So it looks like it's all connected now. I use a tape to tape the uh, the left vent to the elbow. I had to tape it from in here, so the taping is probably not great, but good enough. You don't see any light coming in from in there. So I also had to bend that little clip. And so if you buy the kit, the kit ranges between $80 to $100 for an LG venting kit for this unit. And so essentially I was able to create my own kit using two elbows that were $5 each. So for $10, I was able to create my own side venting. Um, and obviously I scratched it up, but this is gonna be on the back side, so you can't see that. Um, again, this is the LG Tower model WKGX201HBA. And this is how the unit looks. I still have it outside. They only deliver to the front and the laundry room is getting remodeled. So, um, and as you can see, it's a little bit on an angle. It doesn't come out straight, but I think that's uh, good enough. And then we'll cover this duct with tape as well once it gets connected. And I need to be able to remove it to service the washer and dryer, so. Um, but anyways, in terms of the final dimensions, I think that it's going to be probably about 10 inches to the side. I think if you cut the original vent in half, it basically serves uh, the need and you can do it with one elbow.